If you already thought I was stupid for getting a 62 ATAR, <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> I feel like Katie's looking kind of weird in the background. Ew. Hey guys, it's Jules. It's like nearly midnight. I haven't done like a story time video in like a year. <laughs> I literally remember the story like 10 minutes ago. It's really embarrassing and you'll learn that I'm actually such a dumb bitch. I look so... What is this? Oh my god. Okay, let's get into the story. Let me just get the screenshots up. Oh my god. I haven't looked at these DMs in about a year. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting PTSD. Wow, okay. Okay, so basically I got, I got a DM from this girl that went to my school. I wasn't really close with her, like I knew her, she was in some of my classes, but like I never, I was never close with her or anything. But she sent me a message on Instagram and at that time she had already dropped out of school. So I literally like hadn't heard from her in a couple months. So when she messaged me I was like, whoa, like this is so random. But basically this is what she, <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I was this stupid. Okay, hang on. This is what she said. Hey babe, you want to do a fashion photo shoot for Cleo <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so stupid. Hey babe, you want to do a fashion photo shoot for Cleo magazine with me? We will pay... <laughs> we will be paid $320 an hour and everything will be sponsored. This was last year. You're probably already shaking your head like what the fuck bitch this is obviously... <sighs> and I said what? This is a joke right? <laughs> okay wait, let me just say that like, in all honesty, like, seriously, a big part of me was thinking, oh my gosh, this is, like, totally fake. Like, as if I would get paid $320 an hour. No, like, it's so unrealistic. And plus, I'm not even... Look at me. Look at me. Who would want to pay $320 to shoot this? And she said, no, I'm dead serious. And I said, holy shit, that sounds amazing, but why me? <laughs> and then she goes, I need an Asian-looking model. And TVH, there's no other Asian with a nice body and pretty face like yours. <laughs> and you're also probably thinking, Jules, like, like, how did you not pick up on this? Like, the way she's talking. But, like, honestly, I really, like, didn't really know this girl well. I really didn't know, like, how she typed and, like, how she really, like, talked. Especially, like, you know, through Messenger. So I said, wow, 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 you're too sweet. Ah, I'm hella nervous, but I'd love, why do I talk like this? But I'd love to. And then she goes, I'm just being honest. He. And then basically she's just telling me, oh, I can guide you along the way. Don't worry. And then I asked her, like, send me the details, girl. And this is what she said. You'll get a personal hairstylist and makeup artist too. Also, you can choose one brand of your choice to be sponsored from. Oh my god. All the details and contacts is on this Facebook page. She sends me the link. Hey. These things don't come in life every day, love. So let's have fun and nail this. And since we are going to be shooting together, you are hereby officially my new bae. And I remember thinking, oh my god, like, does this girl really talk like that? Like, what the hell? That's when I started to be like, okay, um, I really don't think she'd use the word bae. And, you know, a big part of me still was a bit, you know, worried. This is totally a scam. But a bigger part of me, the bigger egotistical stupid self-centered gullible bitch that i am thought oh my gosh wow i can like become a model what the f oh my god saying it out loud and i said oh you're totally right let's smash this together babe oh my god and then i remember i clicked the link and it didn't work and i was like what the hell is happening like it's not working so i literally messaged her saying the link you sent me didn't work what was the name of the facebook page and she was like page is expired i'll update you with new link once updated okay red flag anyway how old are you bub and then i told her you're 16 and pretty as fuck oh my gosh i'm having hashtag girl crush and then i remember i messaged her on facebook but like for some reason it wouldn't send and then she messaged me on instagram saying Babe, my Facebook message is messed up. I can't really reply there anyway. And then I started to get like really, really scared. And so I messaged um, my friend Lauren, who I knew was pretty close with this girl. And I was kind of just like, hey, are you still close with... Oh, I forgot to give the girl a name. Oh my God. Let's call her... Um... 
Cleo because that was the magazine that I thought I was going to model for. So I messaged Lauren and I was like, hey, are you still close with that Cleo chick? And didn't get a reply from Lauren for like ages. And then Cleo sent me another DM saying, you're asking my friends as if I'm like scamming you or something. And I was like, what the fuck? And then she messaged me saying, Lauren texted me. You were asking if she was still talking to me. You're definitely having doubts. My stomach dropped. My heart stopped. My hip popped. I don't know what was happening. Like, how does this bitch know that I messaged Lauren? Like, Lauren would not wrap me out like that. And I even messaged Lauren saying, oh my god, did Cleo message you? And she was like, no, I haven't, like, talked to her in ages. I was like, oh my god, how the hell did this bitch know? By the way, I was messaging Lauren on Facebook Messenger. I don't know if I said that. So I messaged her saying, whoa, you're scaring me now. Next thing I know, I can't log into my Facebook. Why? Because Cleo hacked me. Cleo hacked my Facebook, logged me out of it, changed the password. I literally couldn't get into my Facebook and I was having a heart attack. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I remember trying to log in like so many times and it just wasn't working. Finally, I like did this, an identification verification thing on Facebook that I eventually passed, thank God, which allowed me to log myself out of like every single device, including Cleo's device. So then I got my Facebook account back, went through my messenger, saw that Cleo sent a bunch of messages to like a handful of my friends, friends that weren't even close with me, and basically asking, hey sweetie, having trouble with my Facebook, can I just quickly like log in with your account? And like asking them for their passwords. My friend Bella texted me and like sent me screenshots of the kind of messages that Cleo was sending her. An hour later, I found out that the real Cleo hadn't used that Instagram account for like months. The real Cleo was hacked by some random person who I still don't know. When I went into Facebook, I checked to see what devices were using my account and it said that it was being used by a Google Pixel. I've never had a Google Pixel. To this day, I've like never, I've never even talked to the real Cleo about this situation because I was so embarrassed. I was actually so embarrassed that she would like somehow retrieve her old account and read through my messages with her hacker and see how dumb I was. But also, I'm still not 100% sure that it wasn't the real Cleo. What if the real Cleo was the hacker that tried to hack me? I can't believe I thought I could model. What? What bitch is that gullible? Like, ever since then, whenever I get like a DM about modeling or like whatever, I just bird box that shit. I don't even look at it. I oh, The trauma. The trauma. I thought I lost everything when I couldn't log into my Facebook. Learn from this. If you ever get a DM offering you $320 an hour to model for Clio magazine, decline. Decline straight away. Um, but anyway, that's my embarrassing story of how I thought I was gonna model and get $320. Hope you guys enjoyed. You probably didn't. This is probably such a stupid, stupid story time. But anyway. Stay fine, stay fresh, stay safe.